going on everybody hope y'all are having a good one uh it's uh another rainy day out here but that's a good thing finally got some mud to play with down in the creek so we're gonna take the uh, trx4 high trail mega slash mud truck down here and uh see what kind of mess we can make um i don't remember where i left off on like the last video that i did with this thing and uh, what all i had done to it so um roll bar i think that's actually a traxxas roll bar uh push bar on the bumper don't remember off the top of my head what brand that is uh but that's metal that one's plastic um i did have to do some uh rewiring for the sound module um it was not liking being uh direct powered off of the 3s battery that i'm running so i've got a little 2s pack uh, kind of buried underneath of the big 3s pack so i've got a battery dedicated to the sound kit and then uh, the big 3s packs running the truck um, got a castle mamba x esc 2280 sensored motor i uh, did put a three brothers g13 direct power servo in here um yeah and then the two two uh fling kings i believe that's it um ah i also did put uh some brass up front just what at the outer sits over top of the uh outer portal cover it's just a weight uh, try to help keep that front end down a little bit uh, this thing I like it being somewhat lighter weight but since everything's so top heavy on here having an extra little bit of unsprung weight definitely is going to help but yeah I think that's about it there's nothing super special going on here just uh just mud truck and uh we'll we'll see how she does if i remember correctly i did get it out once i think up at the great lakes gauntlet and i think i might have lost the uh two speed the little shift servo um so i think we might be stuck in low gear which is kind of a bummer, but uh, it is what it is. I actually completely forgot about it until I just looked at the remote and saw that big red switch. So, might have to deal with a little bit less wheel speed today, but regardless, we're going to play in the mud. End of story. So, we'll... Uh, fire this thing up and head on down to the creek and see what kind of mess we can make.
right, so before I take that thing through this mud hole, I just walk through here to clean up some of the bigger sticks so that I can have a little bit more room to play. And, uh, wow, that, there was some spots where I sunk in damn near to the top of my boots. Um, that is thick, nasty. I don't know if this truck's going to be heavy enough to really sink down in. Um, I know the SCX-6 was yesterday, and it's been raining off and on ever since then, so it should only be that much softer. Um, however, this is some of the most rancid smelling mud that I have ever smelled in my life. I sank down in a couple spots and it like i don't know ground farted some nasty shit uh so everything that gets caked on this truck today it's got to come off immediately so that shit stinks but just wanted to throw that out there um this is potentially the best mud run across since I've gotten this thing, so even though it stinks something fierce, we're going to give this a rip and see what we can do. <laughs> not sinking as much as I wanted but I'm gonna walk down in here and see if I can kind of show how soft some of this stuff is you see the whole ground moving
I'm kind of afraid to actually go walking out there all the way. I'm just stretching and trying to put some weight down on some of it. It's not all my weight. Not even anywhere close. Like, that is some nasty stuff. Maybe if I just... Damn, I don't want to lose my boot. Maybe if I just get it mixed up and fluffed up. Man, we might bury that damn mud truck today. This is nasty. Oh my goodness. Oh. I kept too much weight on my other foot. It's buried. Ugh. Wow. Back out of here as slowly as possible. Whew. That was rough. I'm telling you, that's some of the nastiest mud I've seen on this property, like, ever. So, we'll, uh, fire this thing back up and, uh, see if it gets stuck. <laughs>
Okay, well, I think I'm gonna like work my way back and maybe try to hit just some regular water a little bit and clean this thing off. But I'm guessing most of it's not coming off until I get the hose with some pressure behind it because that shit is thick. I'm talking three C's on Instagram with an eggplant after it thick. Catch my drift. But yeah, it's awesome to finally be able to get to uh, hit some actual mud with this thing. I need to get that two speed fixed. It would be nice to have high gear and actually sling some mud instead of just halfway flip it up on the truck. But definitely going to remember this hole. I will be back with more power and more wheel speed and we're going to have some fun here. I may actually do a little bit more cleaning up and I should be able to make this run even longer. But, yep, I'm going to start working my way back up and, uh, man, that was awesome. But, hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it for sure. And I hope y'all have a good one. I will catch you in the next one. Later.